Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're all doing amazing. I am in my best spirits right now to film this video. Usually when it comes to manifestation, I don't have a script around me. I usually allow for it to come from within and then I'm just like, okay, I open my phone, I tap on the video and here I am. So I have been meaning to talk about this one technique that's really always worked for me and I never really knew that what name should I give to this technique, okay? This is something that you must have read in the thumbnail which is writing a love letter to yourself. Now how does this really work? At the end of the day, this world is you pushed out. What this basically means is what you see in the mirror and how you feel about yourself, how you look at yourself, how you perceive yourself is exactly how most people around you are going to perceive you. And this is the exact idea that we pick up to make manifestations come into reality. So how does this love letter look like? Now let's say I am in love with a guy and I want for him to like me back, love me back, you know, sort of engage with me, communicate with me, X, Y, Z. Or I need a job and I want for my boss to look at me a certain way. Now, how this boss is going to perceive you is somewhere or the other dependent on how you perceive yourself. And this is exactly what you're going to take a leverage of and put it in a paper. So all you have to do is just put this video on pause, take a notebook and pen and take a physical notebook and pen, okay? No iPads and phone and notes. Take out your notebook and pen and just write this love letter to yourself right now. And this should basically look like, hi, hi Ankita, good morning my sunshine. I love how you're feeling today. Look at that gorgeous body. Oh my God, what is that skin? I love your luscious, beautiful hair. I love the muscles on your body. I love the clarity in your mind. Ankita, I love your aura so much. I love your energy. I love the information that you have about gut health or makeup, fashion, nutrition. You get the gist, right? I'm just making this about me but you have to replace everything that's me and put your desires here. So this love letter is like, wow, Ankita, congratulations. You just made 100 crores. That's amazing. Let's say if you are a businessman and you're trying to get a certain turnover for your company, just congratulate yourself. In this love letter, just mention that you are already proud about the achievement that you yearn to get but you don't have it already, but somewhere in your mind, you know that it's coming. Hi, Ankita. I saw the Europe trip ki photos. You were looking bomb. That was such a beautiful, luxurious trip. I love it. I loved you in every photo. It's not happened yet, okay? But you're just writing this letter to yourself, to your future self, where you are congratulating her or him, knowing that he or she has achieved everything that you desire right now. And all of these things have come into fruition, into the physical reality. A lot of times we look at the reality and our vibration goes low because I don't see my car. I don't see my 100 crores. I don't see my Euro photos. I don't see my job. I don't see my position. I don't see a great body. I don't see a great skin. And all of these things, they are nothing but probably the universe testing us. Can you still have faith through fear? Can you still believe in something that's unseen and you're not able to look at it right now? But can you trust me enough? This is universe telling you. Can you trust me enough to know that if you have asked, I am going to give it to you. Do you have the patience to receive it? Can you find me in the midway? Can you let me bring it to you with the path of least resistance? This is what the universe is expecting from us. When we sit down and when we write this letter, I hope you have, 
when you're writing this letter, you would feel a jolt of positivity that, oh my God, really? Is this what's going to happen? And I have been doing this for forever. Like I said, I just didn't know that how this go love letter manifestation technique name can be used. I'm not sure if this is even a real technical term, but who cares? At the end of the day, the technique gets things done. So that drawer that you see, I keep my manifestation diaries in there. I have like two or three full with 80 to 90% of the things that have come true. And I always say this, if you want something and if it doesn't come true, I promise you something better awaits you. I want it to be an air hostess. I want it to be a different kind of a model. I want it to be X, Y, Z. I want it to be a chef and so many other things. I never, ever, ever wanted to be a dietitian or a nutritionist or someone who could help people with their real health, right? But it ended up finding me because I was at a point in my life where there was no resistance. The profession that I'm in right now this was never my dream. I didn't even know that this exists and I want something like this. But now that I have it, I just go like, wow, how did I never think about this? And how did this find me? And this is how the best things in life are. They come to you when you least expect them. They come to you when you are open and you trust the universe, you trust your God. That could be anything, okay? Christianity, Shivji, Ganeshji, anything. Anything that you trust and believe in, you have to learn how to surrender yourself. That is usually the biggest thing that sometimes I also struggle with. But then I think you can see the Ganesh tree in the background. For some reason, I'm able to connect with him. And I just look at him and I'm like, okay, you know what? I know this is a bad time for me, but I trust you. And I trust you to guide me. So please guide me through this. And then you just probably take a nap, go to bed, call it a day and something wonderful comes to you. So there are many, many instances where universe has something better for you. And that's why that guy is not getting back to you. That's why the job is not calling you. That's why your visa is not coming because universe has better plans. Okay. At least that's what we need to believe in. If we want a better future or a more stable present. So write yourself the love letter with every single thing that you know you are going to manifest or you desire or you yearn for it, just congratulate yourself. I have this, 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 I have this. And just see how quickly and effortlessly the universe is literally just going to roll it down at your feet. But you have to be open and you need to have faith, especially when the reality looks different that's where I need to see your faith. Anyone can be happy on great days. I can be stable on happy days. But what do I do when everything is not right? Right? And this is how the love letter manifestation technique works. You pay gratitude for something that doesn't exist. But that feeling of being in gratitude raises your vibration. And when your vibration is higher, you can attract more things that are vibrating at the higher frequency. And that is how they can come to us. So I really, really hope that this helps you. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Share this with anyone who is probably in a tough or a dark phase of their life and they don't really know how to get out of it. Probably writing this letter to themselves could change their day, could change their mind and hopefully could change their life. I really hope this helps you. Bye.